This is the KRQE News 13 Sports Desk with Van Tate. It will more than likely be a life-changing Wednesday for New Mexico State second baseman Nick Gonzalez next week. The latest Major League Baseball mock draft has Gonzalez, the National Player of the Year, as a seventh pick in the round one going to the Pittsburgh Pirates. I think, you know, they're seeing the, the performance um, definitely, but, you know, uh, the, the work ethic and the character as well, uh, um, you know, shows and uh, when you have personal meetings with them and everything, uh, that, that's there. Um, so I think they see that as well. You know, it's an incredible feeling for me. It still hasn't really set in, uh, you know, how special it is. I think, you know, once draft day comes, it'll really sit in for me and the family. But, uh, you know, just super fortunate and blessed to be where I'm at right now. Yeah, I would say so. The seventh pick in the first round has a $5,432,400 slot value. Draft projections in April had Gonzalez going as high as the second pick to the Baltimore Orioles. And that draft slot, $2 million more. Gonzalez has also been projected to go fifth, fourth, fifth, and sixth round. Sixth pick, that is. Gonzalez has put up impressive numbers during his collegiate career. 339 batting average, 120 runs scored, 89 RBI, and 45 stolen bases over his Aggies career of 128 games. You know, games. playing at a, you know, a young age, I've always, you know, been pretty good and been able to play well, been able to hit and do everything like that. But, you know, kind of never really got the attention or any of that intention until uh, sophomore season or over the summer in the Cape Cod is when, it, you know, really things started to take off. So. Gonzalez was going to be in the audience for the draft, but the pandemic changed that. He'll watch at home. By the way, he's a Yankees fan. The New Mexico high school tennis community lost one of its own this week. Longtime tennis coach Becky Lee passed away after a long battle with cancer. Lee left her position as head coach at Albuquerque High two seasons ago. Now she led the program for six years, winning a pair of state titles in 2015 and 16. Before becoming a head coach, Lee was an assistant for current head coach Liz Keefe. The two reverse roles were Keefe serving as an assistant before returning as head coach. Now in all, they spent 11 seasons together. Lee was diagnosed with cancer in 2014. She was a tireless advocate for youth tennis in this, uh, in this state and the legacy that she leaves are all the girls and boys that had access and opportunities to play tennis and love playing tennis today uh, because of the work that Becky has done. Lee and Keefe combined to win a pair of Metro Championships for Albuquerque High. Albuquerque High, the only girls team with four Metro Championships. Becky Lee was 54 years old. Former Lobo sophomore guard Tavian Percy has found his next basketball home. Now Percy announced on his Twitter page that he is committed to Weber State. Percy announced his decision to transfer from UNM last week. In two seasons at UNM, Percy averaged over eight points per game and over eight minutes, that is, and 1.5 points per game. A state champion softball player from Artesia had her mind on a three-peat when her season came around. She also has a spotlight in tonight's lost season profile. Hi, my name is Chandler Groves. I'm a four-year letterman for Artesia Lady Dog Softball. I'm a two-time back-to-back state champ. I'm also a three-time district champ, three-time first team all-district, and two-time all-state team. I will be attending Western Texas College in the fall to play softball. I just want to say that this pandemic has robbed us of so much, not only our season, but our last memories as seniors. I know for myself and my teammates, we would have loved the chance to defend our title and leave AHS making history. My heart goes out to every senior athlete who didn't get their chance to compete this year. We deserve better, but in the end, we are all champions. My advice to the younger athletes is to never take a hard practice, a bad game, a good win, or the game you love for granted. Thank you. That's Chandler Groves. That's a wrap for us. We'll see you tonight.